Well, hello, you wonderful people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the Red Dead Online horses into single player. That way, you can enjoy their majestic nature in your single player playthrough, if you so desire. Right now, we've got the Steel Gray Breton, which is, quite honestly, one of my favorite horses in the game. This is going to be the one that I use a lot in Red Dead Online, as well as the Turkomod. I also really like the Fox Trotters and stuff like that. Uh, but regardless, some of the Red Dead Online horses are really, really good. Now, unfortunately, none of these really seem to be included in the trainers, but they are relatively simple to get into the game. Well, they're very simple to get into the game once you actually know the names of them to be able to spawn them in. And that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. Now, we've also got a hunting wagon. Excuse me, can I have my, um, my weapon? I would like to shoot that dirt in the face. Maybe. Um, I missed. Good job, Tag. Uh, but yeah, there is a hunting wagon mod now that actually is a really great improvement to the immersion in your single player experience it doesn't really break the game at all it just makes the game kind of how it should have been we should have had a hunting wagon and single player the whole time and for those of you that really like hunting or are working on all of the hunting missions that you need to do this hunting wagon will make your life much easier now one thing about the red dead online horses is you can't actually keep the oh my god how many animals did i just run over you can't actually keep them stabled, so you will have to have this as your main horse, but you are able to customize it. So when we go into the stable here, you can see uh, we can't actually put it in a stall or anything, which is really unfortunate. I'm not sure why that is. I'm sure at some point in time that will be fixed, but what we can do is you can actually you know, put different saddles on it. You can change the appearance. You can do every single thing else in the stables with the horse other than put it into an actual stable. So uh, that is the one downside of spawning in these online horses. But if you're going to use one as your like main driver, main horse, <laughs> then um, obviously this will work perfectly fine for you. Now to do this, you're going to need to use a trainer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up. Right now we are using uh, Jedi Joss's trainer. Uh, which I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to download that. It is available in the, the Red Dead Redemption 2 modding Discord. Um, but he does not have any options to actually spawn it in as your own horse right off the bat. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Pet Options, Pet Spawner, and then you're going to select Model, and then you're going to need to enter the model names. Now, I will put a bunch of different model names down in the uh, description for you guys to check out, uh, but it is relatively simple to type this in. Now, say you want to spawn in another Breton, all you need to do is go A underscore C underscore horse, and then underscore Breton, and then the colorization of the one you want. So if you want the steel gray again, you can type in steel gray, and obviously we still have that as the thing. And then you go back one, and then you're going to go ahead and spawn that pen. It's going to spawn right on top of us. And then the nice thing about this is if you want to change up the colorization, all you need to do is just change that ending. But that is how you spawn in the online horses. I will leave a list of the online horses that you can spawn in with this method in the description. So feel free to check that out if you so desire. Now, the next thing I want to check out is, of course, the hunting wagon. This is probably one of the nicest actual additions. Like, basically, we've had a lot of mods that you can have a lot of fun with, but nothing that really changes the gameplay for the better. And this hunting wagon certainly does that. Now, the nice thing about this hunting wagon is you don't need to use any trainers to have it spawned in. Uh, you will need to use the Red Dead Redemption 2 script hook by Alexander Blake, uh, but you can take out the trainer if you so desire. And this will literally just spawn at your camp and uh, is pretty awesome. This is actually going to be the first time I'm checking it out. I do know how it works, uh, but it will spawn at your camp. So that's how you pick it up. You don't need to spawn it into the game yourself. It'll just be kind of chilling there for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a little bit of a test. I have only got pistols on me. Epic fail. Now I want to test the, the sizes of animals that we can actually put in here. I want to make sure that we can actually put quite a few different types of animals in here. Um, and I also want to find out how many we can actually put inside of this wagon. So if we go to the back, all we have to do is just hold stow on wagon and wham bam, thank you ma'am. That turkey is now stowed. The real question is, how many animals can we put in there? And can we also put pelts rather than whole, you know, animal bodies in there? Is that another, another turkey right there? That's not what we're looking for. We need some dirt. All right, Arthur. 
We've got some deer. Now you just need to make sure you get some perfect shots on these bad boys. Like right about there, maybe. And then if we could... Oh my god, it wasn't even a perfect shot, you heathen! Ah! There we go. <laughs> we stow bodies in it? Just out of genuine curiosity. I imagine we could probably stow bodies on there, right? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> yes. You could keep all of your bodies in here, too. I wonder if you like, drive through town with a wagon full of bodies, if anybody's going to say anything. So I realize that while I'm driving around, uh, they're actually, like, moving around in this little wagon here. You can see how they... Kind of like freely, so basically it just puts them in this wagon that allows you to carry them around, which is honestly a brilliant way of doing it. Uh, because it's not like it's the same as the online wagon in any way. But I want to see, doesn't seem like they're going to bounce out, but I wonder if we get like a ton of things in here, if they're eventually just going to start like kind of falling out of the cart. You might have to be careful with how much stuff you put in here, but it seems like we'll be able to put quite a few things, definitely more than the online wagon. All right, the real test. Are people going to get super upset about me having a cart full of bodies? You guys, you guys chill? You good? Don't mind me. Okay, yeah, no, they're good. They get a little offended that I'm in their way, but at least, you know, if you want to be hauling around a bunch of bodies, <laughs> you can if you want. Another really nice thing about this particular wagon is it's actually pretty darn speedy now i have uh seen some mentions that they might be allowing you to use your own horses as the horses that are leading the wagon which i think would be super duper cool um but yeah just a shorter episode to show you some cool things that you can now do in red dead redemption 2 in single player uh, i want to start covering some mods that are going to improve the experience without actually breaking the game and i do think that this is definitely one of those mods uh, that you should have installed for single player fun and also with a b script hook when you use that it will give you some protection um, from using mods online and stuff like that so uh, that is a nice benefit but anyways i do hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one we gotta plow this guy over see if the horses will survive nope you you all right boy oh they're not all right Oh, wait! <laughs> we can use it with one horse! And I don't think we've lost any speed, either. Nice.